feel that? That thing that's beating your dog on chest right now. Can you feel it? Can you feel what's about to happen on this wheel, man? Let's go. Nation S Gibbs here for another extended edition. It is not your den, it is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, aka the Laser Show, the internet's most passionate show about John Madden NFL 12 football 2012. I keep repeating that, that's the third time this week. I don't know why, it just kind of flows, I guess. But today is show one, three, four, 134 of these shows, fellas. Uh, and today is the last episode about our five sets for success on defense. We're going to talk about um, the red zone defense as well as a base play. Those are our last two. Um, so again, to re recap the five sets for success on defense, we have a run defense. We So run defense. We have a man zone blitz. That's two. We have an X factor. That's three, which was yesterday. We have a red zone defense is four. And then our base defense is five. So we, we split up man zone blitz because I wanted to show the importance of that. But man zone blitz is a, is a combo. So you should have a blitz. Um, as one audible that can counter as both a zone and a man blitz. Just remember that. Um, and let's talk about today, we're going to talk about red zone and then a base defense. So when you think of a red zone defense, you need to think of, uh, <coughs> I call it the Madden red zone, and I say anything 10 yards in is what I call the Madden red zone. And um, so the Madden red zone, again, 10 yards and in, typical red zone is 20 yards. But in Madden, you can still run your regular offense 20 yards and in. So that's where we start talking about the Madden red zone where you have to start changing things up, get a little more cute with your quick passes and, and trick it plays inside the 10-yard line. So that's the di most difficult part to score in the game. Um, so let's talk about what we do in the red zone. So what do we know is very effective in the red zone um, this year in Madden? Well, the, the auto lob catch in the back of the end zone, that's, that's very effective, correct? Well, one of the first things you want to think about is how can I take that away? If you can take that away, you take away a major threat and a major weapon for the offense, okay? So you need to first think that's your first job in the red zone. Probably stop the run. Stop the run, stop the auto lob. For most guys out there probably, though, in, in all honesty, most guys it's probably going to stop the run. And then for the more advanced guys, that's the auto lob, okay? So you need to be able to stop the run and then stop the auto lob. So what we're going to show you today is just a breakdown. We're going to all out commit or stop that auto lob, make them – Beat us another way. We're not. We're going to say you're not going to beat us this way. Sorry, you force them elsewhere. And and when you do that to guys, when you force them out of what they're comfortable, a lot of times they can't handle it. They can't take the heat, and then they just start making mistakes. They fall apart, and bad things happen, and good things happen for you. Now, a base play. What is a base play? Now, an offense. A base play means a play you come out in all the time. It's something that makes you feel comfortable, and you can get reads. It's a blue route. Yada yada yada. A base play on defense, I want to be able to, I want to call out my base play, the play that I'm going to come out in. And what I like to come out in is that base formation that you feel comfortable in terms of flexibility to stop the run and pass. And that's what I call the 46 normal formation. That's that because of the normal speed package. We've talked at length about that. Uh, Twim, all the daily shows, everything. Excuse me. And to combat that, what you want to talk about is... So say you want to come out in a, your base formation is going to be 3-4. That's fine. You can do a 3-4. And say you want to come out in 3-4 um, weak blitz, 3-4 over or 3-4 under weak blitz or 3-4 predator weak blitz, right? Now, what you need to do in combination with that is make sure that that formation also has a cover 4 audible from that. So if you're going to be spending the primary amount of time of your defense in that 3-4 formation, whatever that base set is that you want to use, you want to make sure that one of your audibles is a cover four. Now, what is that? Why? Why are we doing that? You're doing that so that you have the ability to get to every single defense in the game, right? So that's what that is. That's what you're doing. Um, so let's talk about that today. We're going to get break into that. I want your NFL predictions. Um, Patriots, I'm telling you right now, 42 to 21. That's right, 42 to 21. They're going to put up seven touchdowns. They're going to put up six touchdowns. My math. Never said I was a mathematician. But uh, what are your NFL predictions? That is the question of the day, the QOTD. What are your NFL predictions? I'm really liking the Patriots this week. I want to see the Raiders do well, mainly because I want to have them get a roster update. And they keep getting roster updates. Uh, Denarius Moore got one today. He's 94 speed now, so this guy is an actual threat now in Madden NFL 12. So 
Again, what are your predictions? Patriots two and one are going to move to three and one on the arm of Tom Brady and the catching ability of Gronkowski and Wes Welker. But let's get the zoomy zoom on. Let's get it on. Ain't no choice but to get it on. Got to get it on. So here we have it. Probably should clean up my office here a little bit. So here. That's right, guys. I also let's talk about this. I got my PS3 is ready to go, set up. It's ready, to, ready to ball. So let's talk about when you're in the red zone, right? Let's just pick a formation. Uh, what do we want here? What do we want here? Uh, we'll do split flex, right? We'll do split flex. Let's talk about a formation here. Three, four, under, and we're going to use a double man. Now, let's move the magic bean up in that Madden red zone, right? And I would consider this a red zone defense for a couple of reasons. What I'm doing here, let me fix the settings, sorry. Sorry. It happens on National Live Internet, I guess. I didn't have it set up. PlayStation 3, I used to play on it. Got my cup of joe, though. Good morning. Had a couple seminars this morning. Got those done. Get this out. Got another one coming up after this. So the seminars are going pretty well. If you're interested in that, check them out. Primamadden.com. Um, it, I mean, it says an hour, but you're gonna get a lot longer time with me in terms of labbing and teaching how to do things and all that good stuff. So uh, let me put Colston there. And let me put my boy Jimmy. I'll put Mark Ingram there. He's kind of a beast. I can't, okay. Well, I'll put Jimmy there. And I'll put Meacham there. Come out and Cowboy Way out. So, let's just say we'll normal play, right? How many times has this happened to you? Playing Madden, right? Quick little lobs in the back of the end zone. How many times has that happened to you? I mean, it doesn't matter what formation it is. It doesn't matter what you're in. It just, how many times has, have you just been beaten by something, a little law of the end zone, and then they go up and they make a play and they just come down with it, right? How many times have you been killed by that, right? Well, in the red zone, you want to take away what you believe to be is the number one option for a lot of guys, right? So in this play, we have everyone manned up, what we do, but the outside guys are doubled. And then from there, I like to spot the D-tackle, crash, uh, pinch the line, crash the line out, all right? And then... From there, so say, it, I mean, again, it could be any double play you want. It, it, again, I'm just trying to take away that number one option on the outside. We're not sending a lot of pressure. We're not sending crazy heat. But what we're doing is we're putting two guys on a big tight end like that. And that's the idea. You want two guys out there. And there's other ways you can do it. But, again, you just want to get creative. you want, you got to think of a way. How am I going to stop this guy in the red zone, okay? And this is a great way to double up the guys on the outside. It's a great way to stop this. You get the jam on him, you put two guys on him, and you just pray that he doesn't come down with it. And that one, he caught it, but he was knocked out of bounds by the second receiver. Now, you're going to give up to this halfback draws, right? So, let me show you. You're going to give up a halfback draw. So you got to be ready for that. you got to understand that. So here's the halfback draw. You're going to give this up. Not even that, because DeMarcus wears a beast. But that's the idea. You, could, you, might be, you might give that up, but you're trying to take those other options away. So when I say a red zone defense, that's what I, that's what I mean, right? You want to you be able to take away the number one option. You want to be able to force them elsewhere. And you want to be able to t make them feel uncomfortable wherever they are. Um, so that's that's just an idea of what you want to be doing when you're in the red zone. Let's, uh, let's break down a base play on defense now. So say you're in the normal 3-4. Let's see. Normal 3-4. Right, and so this is what I mean by a normal three four. So you're gonna come out, and you so you set your audibles. You want to make sure that one of your defensive audibles is from that whatever the formation you choose your liking is gonna be your your primary 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 formation. Difficult to watch there, Gibbs. So um, I'm deciding that I want the three four normal to be my my number one option, and I'm deciding that the play I'm gonna be coming out in. To generate a lot of pressure, we could say it'll be it could be pinch, right? 
say it's pinch. So this deploy would come out and cover zero, right? To generate, let's let's move the ball back. Let's move the ball back. So to generate pressure, you know, it's very easy from this formation, right? It's very easy to generate pressure. I can send six guys, get that pressure in there quick, right? And then make plays, right? It's very easy to get pressure, right? So however way you're going to bring pressure from this formation or whatever you're going to do, you're going to move guys around, blitz guys, get cute with your pressure, and just sack the quarterback all day, right? So now you have a cover zero, and you want the ability to be able to bring that same style of pressure, but from really any coverage of defense, right? So you're in man-to-man -man already, so you can drop guys, roll guys here, whatever you want to do. But now you have the ability, you can call two-man under, right? So you can play that same defense. You can still use this guy with this yellow zone. But now you're only rushing You're only rushing three guys. Maybe this is your man defense, um, your coverage defense for man-to-man, -man, right? You're going to only rush two. Everyone's manned up, two deep under, and you have a roamer and a quarterback spot over the middle of the field. Maybe this is your, your two-man under defense, right? Now, say you want to play a cover two. All right. Well, look, you can play a cover two and still bring that same pressure that you were bringing from that cover zero man look. But this time it's just now this time you're just in that cover. You're in a cover two, which, again, it just same pressure changes the defense behind it, though. Right. That's the idea. That's what that base plays about. Right. So now you can do it now from cover three. Right. So here's cover three. You're bringing the same pressure out of cover three. Bing, bang, boom. Same pressure. Correct. There you have it. Well, what if it's third and long? Oh, okay. Well, guess what? You play cover four. You do the same thing, same pressure, but now you're in cover four. So if you understand what we're doing here, what we're doing is we're just we're working the coverage tree of the tree of coverages, I would call it, right? I guess. So you have a cover zero, two man under, cover two zone, cover three zone, cover four zone. So I mean you can even get cute and run a cover five if you want there. Run a cover five. How about that? So that's the idea. That's what your base defense needs to be. You talked about your red zone. Another great show today, guys. Heading into the weekend. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I hope your NFL teams do well this week. If you're if you're lucky enough and you're not a Red Sox fan and maybe you're a Philly fan or you're a Yankee fan, maybe you are going to enjoy the playoffs. I will not be enjoying the uh, baseball playoffs this year. But uh, we do have the Patriots on Sunday. Expect Tom Brady to go off 42-21. to Patriots move to 3-1. Guys, we'll see it on Monday for show 135. I don't even know what it's going to be yet, but I'm going to think about it all weekend. We're going to jump back into team breakdowns, depth charts, all things like that next week. Five sets for success, of course. And I'm excited for it. We'll see you next week, next Monday, show 135. As always, fellas, we are changing the man community one snap at a time.